Hi, I'm Jill with the Mobile Public Library and I'm back with another book recommendation for our Read, Eat, Repeat series. Today I want to recommend to you the series of books Jonathan Barrett, Gentleman Vampire by P.N. Elrod. These, this is the um, sci-fi book club omnibus collection with all four books in the uh, same bound copy, uh, but we do have all four books in the series on Hoopla for a digital download. And I think even though I have the print copy, I need to look at those because they actually say there's 60 more pages in each book. And I have not read those 60 extra pages. That's almost uh, a whole extra novel to over four books. So um, it's on my to-be-read list. This book, it is a vampire book, but it is a vampire book from the early 90s. So it's in the, the vampire tradition, like the, the tr vampire trend it was started by Anne Rice, not the vampire trends that came 10 and 15 years later that are more of like a romance novel one, like 10 years later with um, Cheryl Ann Kenyon. And then, um, nor is it part of the like Twilight Saga YA trend. This is a very different kind of thing. It's more of a historical fiction with vampires than it is a romance novel with vampires. So if you're kind of turned off by the Twilight, Cheryl and Kenyon thing, don't, you know, you may still, you may still enjoy the series because like I said, it's more of a historical novel. Uh, this particular book, or series of books, is set during the American Revolution and Jonathan Barrett and his family are loyalists. You know, they're, they're still loyal to the British government and, you know, of course there's just a lot of politics and war and um, trying to keep your family safe and all the drama that goes along with that like you would find in a typical historical novel but in the meantime you also have the vampire stuff um, Jonathan Barrett at the beginning of the book he dies and then he wakes up a vampire now of course this is 1700s English gentleman he has no idea what a vampire is uh, this is pre Bram Stoker um, vampires are not like part of the popular media um, so he's like, he has no idea what's going on, and so he has to figure this out while at the same time trying to protect his family and um, get them out of the American Revolution. So it was a really good read. Um, and one thing, yeah, I mentioned that it's more in the Anne Rice tradition. Um, it's still a little bit different than that because uh, during that time, you know, in the 90s, if you read those, most of these... Uh, vampires sort of bemoaned their condition. They they mourned being a vampire and mourned their lost humanity. Whereas Jonathan Barrett, he's just like, okay, this is different. This is confusing. He wants to find out what's going on. But he's like, it's better than being dead because you know that would be his other option is being dead. So he's got like a much better attitude. So also don't rule it out if you you know just don't like depressing because it's not depressing. It's actually a really fun read. So um, I, I would definitely recommend Jonathan Barrett, Gentleman Vampire. Um, it's on Hoopla. The first book in the series is The Red Death. So if you look up Red Death and P&L Rod, you will find the first book in the series, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, there are three more books to read. Now, while we're talking about books, and, you know, again, we have to have snacks while we, you know, do everything. We have to have snacks. One thing I've been re eating recently is these little cake bites. Honestly, I, they're an impulse buy. I bought them because they were pretty. Um, it wasn't until I got them that I realized they're also almond flavored. Oh, it's delicious. I love almond flavored anything. It's also an FYI I'm talking about almond flavor. If you make oatmeal, try putting some almond extract in it. It goes great in oatmeal. Like you make some oatmeal, put a little maple syrup, a little almond extract, maybe some sliced bananas. It's just really good oatmeal. Anyway, that's it for, for today. Um, check out Jonathan Barrett and um, almond stuff in your oatmeal. And, you know, you can't go wrong with cake. So, see you later. Bye-bye.